Hello, listeners, and welcome to Truth Speakers Australia, the only news outlet that actually gives you the full freaking news, not one of those propaganda bullshit news outlets that the New World Order is feeding us. No, I have the real news. I'm bringing you the real news, the news behind the news, the news that you need to know about, but no one's speaking about. The news that just no one knows about. And I've been doing this for five years, my friends, and today... Today, I have a special guest on the show. This guy is going to blow your freaking socks off. What he has for us today is insane. I, I don't even know how to, 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 to freaking clarify it. I'm just going to go right into it. So our guest for today, I'm going to call him John. As always, his name is hidden. I've manipulated his voice because I don't want the New World Order to know that he was one of them. That's it, my friends. He was actually one of them. That's what makes this more insane. It is one of them who have come to us to give us the information. And now he's not just feeding us bullshit. He's actually provided sources. So we can search this shit for ourselves online. They're not even hiding this. And I'm, I'm just so excited. I, I can't believe that this is finally out there. Okay, so today's story is about this little known movement called the Esperanto movement. Now you may have heard that word before. You may have heard about this Esperanto thing. It might, it's something that, you know, this idealistic language thing that died off in the 80s or the 60s, who knows. But it's died off. Well, my friends, it has not died off. It is it is out there in full force, and it is an integral part of the New World Order's plan. It is actually at the core of it. And the f crazy thing is, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're not even trying to hide themselves, and we don't even know it. We haven't even seen them. They have been hiding in plain sight. So, I'm just going to pass this on to John. He's going to give you the full scoop of how, how this all fits together, give you the background on this, this freaking crazy plan, and just open our eyes because I have covered so many things in this channel. It is insane that this has not been covered yet. And I have not seen this on any other, you know, realistic news outlet out there. I'm talking about the proper sources, okay? I'm not talking about that bullshit national media stuff. I can't believe this hasn't been covered yet. But you know what? I'm rambling. I'm going to pass this on to John. Firstly, Evil D, I just want to say it's a great honor being on your show. I've been listening for quite some time now, but I obviously did not have the courage to speak out as of yet. Um, as you could imagine, there is there's some strong forces out there trying to stop this type of information getting out. Okay, so I'm going to give you a background, um, like a bird's eye view of how this all works. So, there is a language, but it's more of a movement rather than a language. It's called Esperanto. Um, as you said, um, a lot of people associate it with this idealistic language that died out in the 80s. Well, it's actually got nothing to do with that type of idealism that most people think. It's actually a crucial part of the New World Order's plan to put us all under their heel, okay? So the idea is this. The problem for the New World Order is that the entire world speaks many languages. A large portion of the world does speak English, does speak Mandarin, does speak Spanish, but it's still fractured massively. So in order to control all people, you need to control their language, okay? You need to be able to speak to everyone. So the first part of the plan was they needed a language everyone could speak, and no language existed. English is just too difficult to put everyone into school to learn it and then put them under their heel. Their objective is not to make money off of languages. Their objective is to control everyone at all the time. Surveillance is part of it, yes. Um, you know, continual surveillance, automation, all that stuff, you know, that's not really my department, but that's a part of it. However, language is the crucial key in order to controlling the entire world. Okay, so this is how it works. They created a language over 120 years ago. A crucial member of the New World Order at the time, his name um, is uh, Ludovic uh, Zamenhof. Sorry, I'm not very good with his name. Um, he was a very high level uh, member within the New World Order. I actually don't know myself because I never got far enough in to know who or exactly um, who or exactly who he was because there's information out there about him. You can probably search it online right now. However, it's false. It's all false. They created this whole fake surface level 
idea about who he is and what his objectives were. They said that he created this language to bring Europe together because he saw a lot of infighting, but that, my friends, is total bullcrap. He created this language as part of the New World Order's plan in order to subjugate us all through language. So he created this language and he began a movement, obviously with the support of the New World Order, because how can a language grow without a financial backing? And it exploded. And obviously we then had the world wars, which were just all part of the New World Order's plan, you know, break up the old systems in order to put the new systems into place. Um, the language looked like it disappeared during that time, but it didn't. It just went dormant because it was not needed at that time. So he created a very simple language to learn, which sounds like a great idea for unifying the world, but actually it is part of their plan to subjugate us all. Okay, so then as time went by, this language disappeared from the public's eye, but the whole time it has actually been growing a massive following. Now, the language is indistinguishable from the ide um, ideology behind the language. Everyone who speaks this language believes that the world must come together in order to communicate. Now, on the surface, if you speak to any one of them, they will say to you, it's because we believe that all people should communicate and we want the world to communicate in, in order to stop wars. That is not it, my friends. It is, as I've said, part of the plan to subjugate us all. Now, this wouldn't be so, so much of an issue if it didn't just suddenly explode within the last year. If you go look up online right now, Esperanto, they're not even trying to hide this information as you yourself stated. You will see how big it has become within recent times. The Esperanto is even represented at the United Nations. Now, we all know that the United Nations is just a front, but it's the only language group that is represented there. We have countries represented there, but Esperanto itself is represented at the United Nations. If you look up Esperanto and famous speakers, you will see many of those people who were part of the New World Order were actually speakers of this language. It is their secret language for communication, for control. You will see that it's used by the higher levels of the Chinese government, by the higher levels of the US government, the Australian government, not your standard everyday government official, but the people who really matter, they speak it. Just go look up the Declaration of Human Rights, okay? You think that's just some nice ideal? Look behind the guy who wrote it. He's a freaking Esperanto speaker, as you yourself have stated. It's... I... Now, you're probably asking, how did I get into this? How did I... I stumbled into this one day. I found this language. I found an old book for it, and I started learning it without having someone guide me. And I got to the point where I could speak it. And then I joined in on the movement because I wanted to practice this language. I thought originally that this was all just part of a big um, desire to help people. But then, my friends, I discovered the true core meaning as I was recruited into the Australian Esperanto Association. That's right. They have associations in every country. Go look up your country and type Esperanto Association in Google. You will see that they have local representatives. This is not just some big, you know, conspiracy theory that I've cocked up. You can look up everything yourself online right now. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the microphone. I'm, uh, I just need to get this out because I'm afraid for my own survival at the moment. Um, the local groups know that I'm no longer taking part. I have fooled them into telling them that I'm currently sick, but I am under surveillance. That is no lie. I have seen the local Esperanto speakers watching me from afar. This is insane in its breadth because it's not just a silly idea, it is succeeding. The Esperanto movement has massively grown within the last year. One of the biggest language learning software out there, Duolingo, has just provided support in mass to learn this language and it's one of the most popular languages on the program, okay? And lots of people are just learning this language and going, oh, it's so easy to learn. This is so helpful. We can all get together and help one another. But they don't realize that by learning this language, they are in the future subjugating themselves to the new world order. Once we all speak, we all use Facebook now. Well, I don't anymore, but everyone uses Facebook. And it just started out as this handy tool that everyone used. As Brian is saying, it's a linguistic handy tool that everyone just started out using. But now it is growing and it is part of the New World Order's plan. Look it up myself. I am not lying about this. They are not trying to hide this. They are actually opening up 
publicly and saying, come to us and learn this language. It is part of the New World Order's plan. Do not fall for it. That is all I want to say for now. Um, of course, I am happy to come back and give you more information, but my time is limited and I really don't feel comfortable in giving any more information because I've already exposed myself enough in telling you that I am Australian and they, they have registered every single Esperanto speaker here. So it's only a matter of time that they can chase me down if I give you any more information, but I don't have to. You can find this out yourself. Just check, just check Google, check Wikipedia, check all of that stuff. You will find it all out for yourself. Thanks a lot for coming on board, John. You don't realize how much that information is going to help me and my listeners. So for everyone else out there, my listeners, share this around. This needs to get out. Share it around. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video. And for those who don't know, this channel is Patreon backed. My Patreon supporters are Andrew Tim, Alexander Tolfes, and JZ Knuckles, Ludisto, Lupe, Margarita Kilpak, Robert Nielsen, Robert Port, Sarah SC, Shane Power, and Tommy Lindsley. And if you want to support this channel to help get the real news out there, you can through my Patreon link below in the description.